how to edit a photo in Adobe Spark. So stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. If you're a returning guest, you might notice a little bit of scenery change in here. Finally in my new studio office here in my new place. I've still got some work to do. Audio is not just the way I want it yet. It's get a little echoey in here and I'm still tweaking the light. I still got to do the backdrop here, uh, but I've been busy getting the house ready, doing some small projects. I couldn't wait to get this video done and share with you on how to edit a photo using Adobe Spark. And I'm also gonna show you a little hack you may not know that is possible. I'm gonna be using my iPhone, so if you have an Android, you should be able to do the same thing on an Android using Adobe Spark. So let's go ahead and jump into the app. I'm going to edit a photo that I shot using my X-T3. Now, in order to get that photo from this SD card to my iPhone, I'm going to be using this adapter here so that I can get the images to show up in Adobe Spark. You might not know that that was possible. So let's go ahead and plug this in here. I've got that connected. And let's go ahead and put the SD card. So I should be able to see that SD card as a file option on Adobe Spark. So let's go ahead and launch Adobe Spark here. There is Adobe Spark. Now, normally what I would do when I would tap on the green plus sign, I have the option to import from my photo library videos or other locations. Now what I'll do here is I'll choose files and I'm going to be browsing my phone as like I would on a computer. And right there you see is untitled. There is my SD card from my X-T3. And let's go ahead and click on the most recent folder and I'm going to be using one of these shots. Now I shoot in RAW and JPEG on my X-T3. Now I don't want to import the RAW into Adobe Spark, even though I could, but it's just going to just maybe uh, bog it down while I'm trying to edit. So I'm going to be using the JPEG version of the photos. It's not to say you can't use the RAW, but it's just a little easier to do it with the JPEG. And so let's go ahead and scroll here. And this is one that I shot recently. I'm going to be using that one right there and I should be seeing boom right there. So this is a photo that I shot on my X-T3. Now it's inside Adobe Spark. So I can go ahead and edit. Let's go ahead and choose Instagram portrait and then click done. And now I should be able to just unplug this because the photo is now imported into Adobe Spark. So I don't need the SD card any longer. So here we have the photo. Let's go ahead and move this text. I'll probably use that towards the bottom. But I'm going to go ahead and just minimize that and click done. And now I'm going to tap on the photo here and the options here to edit the photo are located right here at the bottom menu. Whenever you tap on a photo, you should see the options of edit, adjust, looks, and enhance. So if I go to looks, here's where I can choose a different, I'll say filters for the photo. You see there's none. If you're not familiar with Duotone, you should check that out, it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to leave it as none and choose enhance. And here's where I can adjust contrast, brightness, saturation. So you have minimal editing options, but you can still edit the photo, kind of look at the way you want it to look like. Let me increase my contrast there. So I like that high contrast look in my photos. Click done. And I'm going to jump on saturation because I usually like to desaturate my photos just a tad bit. Let's bring that down. Let's see. Let's keep going. Let's see what it looks like. So if I go down all the way, it should convert it to like black and white. Let's increase that a bit. Like maybe about that it looks the way I want it to. Now I will go to let's see. I won't do anything with sharpness. If you want to sharpen the photo, you can. Just don't overdo it. It'll just look a little too over sharpened and it'll look like you edited a little too much. So I'll click on done. I won't do anything with warmth, but if you want to, you can warm that picture up and then make it cooler. So you have the option to kind of make a different style of coloring there. So let me bring it back up just under the zero mark, go a little bit towards the cooler side and tap done. 
And then I'll adjust the brightness, highlights, and shadows. I'm bringing the shadows down a bit. And then highlights. Let's see. Let's increase the highlights. Not too much because then the paper gets a little overblown there. Brightness, I'm going to actually bring that down just a tad bit. Not too much. And what I'm going to do is actually come back over to the saturation here. Actually, let me go to warmth. And I'm actually going to make it just a little cooler there. And I look to be just where I want it to. Now, if I go to looks, I can adjust the looks of this photo. If I wanted to give it a little bit of colorized look like that right there, which is pretty cool. But let me go back to none. This is pretty close to where I want it to be. Again, looking at warmth, cooler, a little warmer. And it's one of those things where you can just keep playing with this and really spend a lot of time here more than you have to. But you know, when you're editing photos, that's kind of the way it kind of works out. Sometimes you'll come back and, oh, I don't like the way that looked before. Now I want to change that up. So I think this is close to where I want it to be. I'll tap done. And I think we're kind of good to go here. I'll tap done. And now what I can do is let's look at this text. If I want to add some text here, maybe move that up a bit. And let me tap my photo. So I've got some room at the top and the bottom. I may actually bring this here towards the bottom and give this open space kind of some text there. Hard. Thank you, spell check. And go with my standard font. Here we go. Then change the alignment. I usually go with the magic look. But then you have the grid option, which is pretty cool. Just depending on how uh, many letters you have, it, it may change the way that looks like. You can go to the rotate option, drop cap. The more text you have, you can actually play with different options there. I'm going to stick with this one right here, make this a little bit larger and then tap done. If I want to animate this. I could tap done and then hit the share row button, which is that box with the arrow share row. A friend of mine actually shared that with me, so I don't want to take credit for that, but the share row button there, you want to make sure and tap there, export this as a video animation or as a still image, and then you can share this wherever or with whoever you want to. And that is how you can do some simple photo editing using Adobe Spark. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified for future videos, and please do share this video with others so that more people can watch this video. And thank you once again for stopping by and watching this video. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace.